All right. We've been reading through the Bible in 90 days. We're at week five. We have just read 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. It's a lot to cover in uh, a minute and a half, but I'll do my best. Um, we, while we were arranging for these videos, I had to do week five right in the middle of week two. So I stopped reading Numbers and started reading Chronicles. And it was interesting because shortly into Chronicles, I realized there were a lot of similarities. There were lists, there were uh, numbers of things. Uh, they were almost the same. But it's an important thing to remember because Chronicles, First and Second Chronicles, chronicle the events, the accounts, the details that happened uh, under the kings of Israel and Judah and God's people in general. So it is a, uh, a, a list, a, a compilation. And these things will be revealed later on in the prophets. There's a lot of overlap, overlap here. And um, that's what this book is for. It's, it's an overview, but there are also a lot of really rich details of battles and triumphs and victories and losses and defeats and lessons. And there are details of Solomon's temple in here that are not given anywhere else in the Bible. Um, all the way to the point where the diaspora happens to the exile. And Ezra and Nehemiah are well-placed right at the end to show God bringing his people back together, the restoration of the temple and the city. Um, it's really exciting stuff. There's a lot of rich stuff that's happening in here. And then Esther comes together at the end uh, with Esther and Mordecai, uh, two people that did not go back to Israel or Judah. They, uh, they stayed in uh, Persia. So it's an account of their lives and how God uses them, even though his name is not mentioned in the book. Um, their characters are such that even though they're fallen and even though they make mistakes and even though they're not doing things the way we would have had them do them, God speaks to us through them. And it is a wonderful blessing. So next week, uh, week six, we're going to cover Job and Psalms. Uh, remember, both of these are poetry. So don't read them like stories. They are creative. Things come through in these stories uh, because they're poetry that don't come through in other, um, in other books of the Bible that are read as stories. So be open to them. Remember that these are songs, that these are poetry, and you will be blessed.